So what's up, Zach? How's it going? It's going well. Yeah. Excited to be here. <laughs> so my name is Zachary Dunn. I'm a chemical engineering major here. I'm graduating in three days or so. Do you want to kind of show off like your GPA or like any uh, reward, uh, rewards, accolades, anything like that? Yeah. Or are you... I guess I can. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm graduating with a 3.96 GPA. I've I was the number one student in the chemical engineering department. I got a few awards. I was the alumni association scholar and I was also um, a Bournes Academic Excellence Scholar. So this graduation has been nice. I've been getting a lot of love for the, for the hard work. I'm the biochemical emphasis. And so, you know, I came in freshman. I'm, I was a little lucky. My brother's a few years older than me and he's like in a PhD right now. So he told me, you know, get involved in research early. So I was playing soccer here for the D1 team for my first two years and I was doing undergraduate research. And then the summer before my junior year, I did an internship at Sandia National Laboratories in Albuquerque, a huge government facility. And that's when, you know, I was working 40 hour weeks, mostly doing research, analyzing papers, organizing results. And that's when I knew the research route is where I want to go. So from then on, cool. my next steps were just, you know, maintaining a high GPA, getting publications, and, you know, preparing myself for a PhD. And so, now I'm going to be attending USC, University of Southern California, in the fall for my PhD in chemical engineering, and I'll be focusing on CAR T cell engineering, which is engineering your own immune system to fight different diseases, and as of now, it's revolutionizing cancer treatment, so that's what I'll be focusing on. Very cool, perfect. If you could have a time machine and you can go back to four years ago, right yeah. after finishing high school, what would you tell yourself? I would tell myself that it's never too early to start reading academic papers because it takes a while to get the hang of it and the more papers you read, the more knowledge you have and then you can start having your own ideas too. If you could tell incoming freshmen uh, one or two tips about college or engineering in general, what would it be? Yeah, I would say definitely go to class. That's a big thing because Odds are you won't, will not use that time for studying if you don't go to class, so you might as well go. And professors are getting paid pretty good money to teach you, and they've had the experience. So definitely one is go to class. And number two is you have you know 10 weeks in a quarter. That means you should be studying for 10 weeks. You can't wait till the end and expect to you know just pull out an A on a final. It doesn't Absolutely. work like that, especially in engineering. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Would you say that uh, engineering is difficult, chemical engineering? Would you say it's difficult? And was it worth it for you? Yeah, I would say it's very heavily math-based. So you want to you know, know your differentials and know how to incorporate math into problem solving. And you have to spend time on your homework. It's, it's going to take a few hours, you know, <laughs> especially for, you know, advanced thermo homework. It's, it's quite challenging. <laughs> and you have reaction kinetics. You have very hard majors. That's why chemical engineers are very valuable in industry. I actually started as a bioengineer and I was, wasn't was sure if I wanted to just do research. Maybe I wanted to be a process engineer. I wasn't sure if I wanted to work in medicine or I wanted to work in a process plant. So a chem, as a chemical engineer, you have a wide range of options you can choose from. You can work in almost any industry. And that's what I think is amazing about a chemical engineer and also because it's so hard your degree is very valuable and so you know a chemist versus a chemical engineer a chemical engineer is someone that can scale up a process it's more industry based versus strictly research based so yeah chemical engineering has been hard but <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie about that but was it worth it yeah it's allowed me to pursue everything I wanted uh, to do so far so for sure I'm very excited for sure the so one. the one thing that we got to ask you, dude, is that kind of led into my, my last question. Do you have any fun? Do you have a social life? Yeah. Is there any I time mean, for that? Yeah, I was actually in a frater I've been in a fraternity since my freshman year, and that's been a nice social outlet for me, you know, having socials, having a little bit of a party scene. And so I would, like, Monday through Wednesday or Thursday, I'd mostly be focusing on me, focusing on the research and the school. But then when the weekend rolls around Friday night, you know, we have great concerts here at UCR. When those events come around, I've already done the work. So then I could go out, have fun, 
hang out with friends, you know. And so, yeah, so what do you plan on, what do you see yourself doing in the future? Yeah, so hopefully I'll finish up my PhD in five years, have some big publications in high impact journals, and then, you know, I may decide to go into academia or industry, but the ultimate goal is to use my chemical engineering background and my PhD research to design better cancer treatments, better treatments for autoimmune diseases as well. So there's a very clinical application of, of what I'm doing and that's, that's the ultimate goal is to improve and lengthen people's lives. So even as an engineer, you're gonna be saving lives? That's the plan. Essentially. These, these uh, treatments from the lab I'm working in at USC, we do the in vitro, we do some in vivo studies. You know, my PI has founded two companies, one in China, one here in the U.S., and it's all about bringing this CAR T cell to the market and giving people the treatment they need. Cool. So, yeah, it's, it's a little different than your typical, you know, what you'd expect of chemical engineering, but like I said, there's so many applications, and there's a huge medical application as well. Cool. Awesome. Well, um, any last comments or anything? Just, um... Don't sell yourself short. I was worried about applying to grad schools just because, you know, Riverside is a great research in institute, but, you know, you compare it to UCLA, Berkeley, Harvard, you may be second guessing yourself, but if you succeed here and you have a good resume and you work hard, you'll get in places and you'll be able to do what you want and you'll have saved a lot of money in undergrad. So I have no, no complaints about UC Riverside. Highly recommend. For sure, dude. Yeah. All right. Well, that's uh, that's all, man. That's all I wanted Thank to you. ask you. Appreciate your time.